view of fuel prices upwards by the Energy Petroleum Regulatory Authority. The increase, which took effect midnight Friday, has already pushed the cost of transport up with the players in the sector hiking fare prices. The new prices have seen motorists in Nairobi pay 195 shillings per litre of petrol and 179.60 for diesel. The move by EPRA came despite two high court orders that temporarily barred implementation of the Finance Act. As of midnight Saturday, the price of petrol in Nairobi had jumped to a historic 195 shillings and 50 cents per litre, 179 shillings and 50 cents per litre of diesel, and 173 shillings and 44 cents per litre of kerosene. The rise in prices of the commodity has seen an immediate effect on the cost of other commodities. To that effect, players in the transport sector are considering hiking fair prices. In Atunyonga. Eh, serikali iliyokuwa ya mahasola imekuwa ya kutugandamiza. Wito wangu kwa rais pia anafanya si sawa. Na kama kuna mtu yuko karibu na yeye anamwambia ni sawa, kwanza mtu huyo ni adui wake mkubwa 2027. Leo hivi vile imepanda na tumepandishiwa mafuta, hatujui tutafanya kazi gani tena. Hatujui sasa hii ndio potom hapo ama ndio kuharibu. Hatuelewi ni potom hapo tulikuwa tunatafuta ama ni kupandishiwa kila kitu. Yeah, tunaona uh, there is uh, a good difference here, Kuba Sana is Pokua Nae, Mafuta, Jua Ikiogeswa, uh, Kira Kitu, Sasa Itakua Ju. That is the whole problem with the petroleum. The high fuel prices have worsened the already tough economic environment for digital taxi operators. They say the increase in fuel has added salt to their wounds, considering their low earnings. <laughs> Oi, tafadhali, kwa sababu hata AI app ya Uber na Bolt haongezei pesa. For the time now, nimetoka Kino. Paka hapa, imeipa 170. Ama 170. 170, paka rita haijaja. Kwa hivyo, tafadhali wanaiji tuko chini, na tumesota kabisa, na tuko down. Sahi nimeaka miasita, hata haijafika, hata haijafika lita tatu. Lamu boat operators, who play a crucial role in ferrying passengers from Lamu Island to Mokowe mainland, are also facing the harsh reality of increased fuel prices. They say they are left with no choice but to adjust their prices upwards. Dalili zimeanza kudhihiri. Bei ya kutoka hapa kuenda mainland, kutoka kisiwa ni Lamu, ilikuwa ni shilingi miambili, yasa inapanda, mbaka shilingi miaine. The move by EPRA, which came despite two high court orders that temporarily barred the implementation of the Finance Act, has been criticized by Kenyans. So, Rais amekosea, amekosea, amekiuka amri ya mahakama ya kusimamisha msuada uo kutumika kwa mda. Hiyo hiyo mahakama nilidhinisha ushindu wake na haka ukumbatia mbona imesimamisha finance bill. The orders in the first application were granted in a case in which Busia Senator Okio Mutata challenged the act on, among other things, grounds that the Senate was not involved. The second petition was filed by Peter Odiambo Agoro, who argued that the bill was founded on an illegality and thereby infringed and violated the Constitution. The same judge also saying she was satisfied that Agoro's application met the test of conservatory orders and granting his prayers for the number of days, as was the case in the Senator Umtata case. Chomuta Goin, Citizen TV. In Kenya, Kwanzaa government.